925 on Tuesday morning. Good to be hanging out with you for a good day, Kentucky. Live here at Leather Inc. in Lexington, getting ready for their 21st anniversary pen show. It's happening this Thursday. All kinds of collectors, vendors coming in. Should be a good time. We've got owner Kim Clark with us uh, here to highlight some of your selection. I know last year for your 20th anniversary, the Star Wars pens were all the rage, and you've got, well, some addition to that coming up this year, too. Right. Last year, the, the Star Wars pins were just in the literally being introduced the, about the day of the show. We were very lucky to get them in in time. This year, the new ones uh, just came in about three days ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think everyone will recognize this. This is uh, R2-D2, mm -hmm. uh, kind of obvious there. And uh, I think it's, it looks really neat this year. You've got a little more color to it. This is the roller ball. Here's the fountain pen. Uh, this is BB-8. Uh, the new mm -hmm. neat little round one that I have trouble uh, remembering his name. But uh, you know, these are just really neat little pins. Uh, they are collector's items in that they only make 1977 of them, the year that Star Wars came mm -hmm. out. And uh, uh, the response on those was just tremendous last yeah. year. Um, they are, Cross is sold out of uh, the Darth mm -hmm. Vader pins uh, from last year's okay. edition. So. You know, those are not available anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, I think we have one of the uh, Darth Vader still left here, but uh, those pins have disappeared. They're gone. And mm -hmm. so now the, the question is, are they worth more yeah. uh, or not? And, and the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. uh, particularly in a couple of years, these things will go up in value. So um, uh, come on out and buy your pen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that speaks for itself, too. Limited edition, now a collector's item. And it kind of has, like, a unique subtleness to it. I mean, you know it's Star Wars, but you could have that in a business meeting mm -hmm. where people are like, oh, look at this, you know, Star Wars enthusiast. I think it's it, tasteful. It, it is, and it's, it's meant to be something that kind of alludes to it. Uh, you don't want something that's, that jumps out and grabs you too much. Uh, but if you do want that, we have that also, because here you have uh, a Star Wars pen. Now, this is the, uh, the, the journal uh, as well as the pen. This is obviously uh, C-3PO, and it has the, the head of C-3PO on it there. And you have... Uh, you have some others. Here's a stormtrooper, uh, for instance, and um, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm <laughs> holding in the wrong place. Uh, here's a stormtrooper, and these are forty-five dollars. These are mm -hmm. uh, kind of neat. And then uh, they also have come out this year with the Marvel characters, and you have Iron Man, Spider-Man, and uh, Captain America. This is a three-pack, which is a brand new uh, thing for you. You can buy them individually uh, or the three-pack. It's a, a better deal if you buy the three-pack. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's kind of exciting for us to have there. And, and people just love those. You know, you love those characters. You love the superheroes. So why not have a pin that shows that on it? Mm -hmm. You know, maybe, that, maybe you think Dad's a superhero and yeah. he loves uh, Iron Man or something, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so those are a, a kind of a nice way to show uh, that you're thinking about somebody like that. Yeah. And, of course, you know, the movies help, too. Very cool uh, design on all of those. So we've got a lot more to talk about. Uh, we're going to highlight some more of the selection. Find out who should come out. Check us out here on Thursday at Leather Inc. for their annual pen show. More coming up on GDK in just a little bit. Until then, uh, Doug and Melanie, take it away, guys. All right, Eric, appreciate that. Those Star Wars pens, talking my language And I there. like how you said it, kind of, kind of classy, but showing that you're an enthusiast. That's right. I like that. There you go. Well, lots more to talk about. We've got your Good Day Talkers coming up after the break.